Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today, we are doing some DoorDash, and today I wanted to explain to you guys how taxes work. Now, before we get into this video, I must point out that I am not a professional CPA, I am not a tax guy, and all things in this video should be taken with a grain of salt. I always hire a professional CPA to do my taxes, and I always get great results, and you also learn a bunch about how taxes work. And I know this sounds like a completely boring video, but I get really excited when we talk about taxes, to be honest. Um, I think it's kind of a game, and just understanding how taxes work as an independent contractor is so extremely important. Because if you don't write things off, and if you don't know how taxes are gonna work, and if maybe this is your first W or a non W 2 job as an independent contractor, you're going to be in for a rude awakening when you have a giant tax bill at the end of the year that you have to pay. So, this is why I always suggest to people, especially if you're an independent contractor and you're a new independent contractor, it's only a few hundred bucks to get a professional CPA to do your taxes. So, always go and do that. I will link my tax guys down below. So, if you guys want to use my guy, uh, go for it. They're great they focus on independent contractors and also like pro athletes and stuff so if you guys want to use my guys they're linked down below I'm not getting paid I just want you guys to use a professional CPA so with that said every single state in the country has different laws different tax regulations different tax percentages like for example in the state of Nevada we have no state income tax same with like Florida and Texas but in California Y'all are getting screwed. You guys have every single, pretty much every single tax that you can even imagine in California. Same with like states like New York. Now, what we're gonna talk about is how little things that you guys can write off as independent contractors. And also, what's very important is that you think about your taxes all year round. You don't wanna make a bunch of money throughout the entire year and at the very end of the year think, oh crap, I need to write some stuff off or I need to buy some things that are tax write-offs. So as an independent contractor, obviously you're getting paid the full amount when you get paid. If you make $500, you get a $500 check or deposit for $500, meaning you didn't pay any taxes on that yet. So what you need to figure out how to do is write off taxes and things like, for example, if I'm a YouTuber, so I actually have, technically when I file, I have five or six different businesses every single year. We have the footwear company, we have the uh, the stunt show, we have uh, delivery driving, I also have a photography company, okay, we do like weddings and videography and that kind of stuff, and uh, my YouTube channel. So those are all separate businesses that I am able to write off. And I didn't just accidentally make five different types of businesses, but I can now basically write off almost my entire life. So for example, things like my camera, uh, that's a huge write off for me. This camera cost me almost two grand. That's two grand that I can write off in my taxes. Meaning if I make $4,000 in a year, then I can write off half of that, which will wipe out the majority, if not all of the taxes that I need to pay for that year. So what you wanna do is focus on things that you need to do, like investments that you guys can make. For example, if you are a delivery driver, things like a hot bag, maybe you need to buy some clothes for door dashing, maybe you need, for example, a Spotify account is a write-off. Uh, other things like maybe a dash cam, dash cam is linked down below if you guys wanna get the dash cam that I use. Maybe it's, sunglasses there's a lot of things that you can write off now of course take everything I say with a grain of salt and consult with your professional CPA to make sure that all these things like for example maybe a mask if you guys want to buy a really nice mask that's definitely a tax write-off if you're a delivery driver all these things that go into being a delivery driver can be written off same thing for YouTube if you're buying camera gear memory cards your gas mileage and all the miles that you put on your car personally what I do is I pick or I uh, tell my CPA how many miles that I drove that year and then we write it off based on that other things for example my car is a huge write-off and when you have big write-offs like this like for example a car 
can be written off for three years. So, for example, I paid, I think, $42,000 for this car. I'm not gonna write off all $42,000 in one year. I'm gonna write that off in three years, and you can write off the interest, And because, because this is a business vehicle for me, it is a tax write-off. It was just a luxury car, like, for example, if this was a Lamborghini, it'd be hard to justify writing off a Lamborghini for doing DoorDash, you know? So things like that. If you bought a car specifically for DoorDash, that's a huge write-off. Or all kinds of things. Man, I could go, I have a previous tax video if you guys want to. I also listed, uh, I'll list that down below. I have tons of other things that you can write off and I think I came up with a pretty decent list last time, but a lot of people ask me how taxes work as an independent contractor, so I'm trying to hopefully give you guys as much information as I possibly can as someone who is not a professional tax guy, but I am very tax savvy. I personally have not paid any taxes legally um, because I negative out my businesses, although my footwear company, of course, pays a lot in taxes though, so it's hard to write off certain things like that, but most of my businesses either pay very little to no taxes every year because I'm very good at writing things off. And when I get money into my hands, I want to invest in the things that are gonna make me more money in the future. I have a very easy lifestyle. Everything that I do, I love doing. So investing into my own businesses is not something that is like, oh, I gotta make this investment. No, I'm always pretty excited when I am investing into things. So that's why I always tell people, hey, you should start a side business or something. Because that side business, just make sure it's something that you enjoy doing. So that way, when you are investing into things to buy for your business, it's actually something you look forward to investing into. And that way you can wipe out a lot of the taxes that you have to pay as an independent contractor. Because I don't want you guys to make all this money and think like, oh, it's all gonna be gravy at the end of the year. And then you get a huge tax bill and you're like, uh-oh, I should have listened to Tanner and wrote more things off. Like the write-offs are very crucial as an independent contractor. And if you aren't focusing on purchasing things, like for example, last month I made a lot of money and I know, for example, that I need to write off a lot of stuff. So that's why right now is a perfect time for us to invest into the skate shoes that we just purchased from my footwear company. I'm gonna invest 10 grand into those skate shoes so that way I can write off 10 grand of taxes and not have to pay all that in taxes. The way it works is instead of, let's say last year I made 40 grand and I write off 10 grand, it looks like I actually made 30 grand and now I only have to write taxes off or pay taxes on that 30 grand because of those things that I write off. So you wanna write off as much as you possibly can, legally of course, and you want to focus on buying things and investing into things. I wouldn't say buying, I would say more like investing is the way to say it. It's very, very important, guys. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I know this video is probably about as boring as it can get, but hopefully it's very informational and helps you guys understand how taxes work a lot, because I know there's a lot of 18 to 20 year olds who first get into delivery driving and they have no idea how taxes work, and I would say most people don't have any idea how taxes work, um, which is why I've always tried my absolute best to learn how taxes work, because the best, or the, the quickest dollar you make is the dollar you save, or the dollar you invest, you know? Because you get that money back, and you just made a dollar if you saved a dollar, you know? Rather than doing everything dumb, you wanna work smarter, not harder. So, that's the motto for today. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below. Again, if you guys enjoy these videos at all, hopefully it comes off as informational and you have a bit better of an understanding of how taxes work as a delivery driver or independent contractor. I've been an independent contractor for the last six years. I have not received a single W-2 in six years, so I'm getting pretty damn good at this tax stuff. Anyways, if you guys enjoy the video at all, please consider subscribing to the channel and also smash that like button for informational videos like this and if you like informational videos that help you make more money, baby. Anyways, if you guys haven't yet, check out my footwear company at offaxisathletics.com. Use the discount code offaxis for offaxis tanner for 30% off. We will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace. Drive safe.